Smart cities are important because they're really the, the uh, future of our world. I mean, our resources are just going to be more and more depleted, and so being in a city on the cutting or bleeding edge of this technology use is very exciting. We want to come together to really improve the quality of life of our citizens, and smart cities is a great way to do that. In today's world, we have these municipals and city governments that are really strained. Their, their dollars are strained, the precious resources are, are strained, you know, there's tremendous growth. We have traffic congestion, we have, we have uh, issues with our roads, we have all kinds of, of uh, you know, just population explosion. And so there's a, there's a, a real uh, need by municipal governments and, and, and local governments to really uh, work on providing technology that can help their, their local citizens you know, have a more uh, sustainable life, more resourceful life. A smart city is one that uses data and technology to help drive efficiencies and create sustainable initiatives and actions within a city and help also engage citizens and get them more um, involved in the role in what a city is doing. You know, in the smart city space and all of the technologies that are coming out, they're helping cities become more efficient and sustainable, and that's not going away. Envision Charlotte is a fantastic opportunity for the city to focus on what we call our uptown, what most people call downtown, um, to make it the most environmentally sustainable center city in the United States. So Envision Charlotte started in 2010 and it was actually an initiative by our local utility Duke Energy. Uh, Jim Rogers was a CEO and a, a visionary for Charlotte and he worked with Center City Partners to come up with an idea that let's create a sustainability initiative for Uptown Charlotte. And we're doing this by focusing on what we call four pillars, energy, air, water and waste and our goal is to have really a model project in each of those pillars. And for energy, we hope to reduce energy use in 61 of our uptown buildings by 20%, water use by 20%, um, divert 20% of our waste from the landfill, um, and then we're working on identifying projects that are going to improve the air quality in uptown. So on the water pillar, we partner with ITRON and we are installing equipment to start gathering that real-time water data from all of our 61 buildings. But we're doing just like we did on the energy side. So we want to gather that real-time water data so that we can set a baseline, measure against it, and implement programs because you can't manage what you don't measure. Um, so we'll take that data, we'll send it over to UNC Charlotte as we have done with the energy data and then UNC Charlotte will be able to look at those two data streams and start looking at the nexus between water and energy and seeing what efficiencies we could drive between those two. If you drive efficiencies, it costs less to do business. So for example, in one of our pillars, we're reducing energy use. So as you reduce energy use, it makes it cheaper for businesses to do business in Charlotte. So it helps the city on two fronts, cost-wise and also on sustainability. I believe, and at ITRON we believe that you really can't have a smart city without a smart electric utility, a smart gas utility, a smart water utility. We, we really view that smart energy and smart water are foundational to a smart city. One of the things ITRON really does in the smart city space is be able to identify the needs of a city and can bring the different partners. If ITRON doesn't offer it, then we need to bring in this partner A, B, and C to the table to offer the whole package because you know as we said there's not one company to be able to do that and so that's what differentiates itron in that space the other thing you got to have is you got to have a network that really is enabling uh, open interoperable stuff smart cities are really the ability to take technology take advantage of technology that we have today and begin to connect things and gather data so that we can plan and better make use of our local resources, so electricity, gas, water, take information and mine it in new ways to help make the community more viable, more economically stable, and just make it an attractive place for businesses to want to locate to. And smart cities are important because they're really the, the uh, future of our world, and they're really uh, they're not just for uh, the citizens today, but I look at it for they're there for our grandchildren's lives for tomorrow.